So this time two years ago, we were at the Dublin Chamber Mo Momentum Summit, and here we are again today. And two years ago, I met this lovely lady, Monica Duggan from Kilkenny. Um, and it's, it's super, Monica, that, that we get an opportunity to catch up again and reflect on the last two years. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant to be back at the Momentum Summit. But um, I met Fiona two years ago, as, as you've said already. And um, when, when I met you at the Masterclass, I really kind of enjoyed what you were saying. And I felt that there was a lot that you could bring to our business. Um, so that's why I, I asked uh, Fiona actually to come and, and um, help us with our own business. And it was really interesting, you know, in terms of your own business and the family history and how it has evolved. I think that would be good to share that. Yeah, so um, we were kind of getting to a point in our business where, you know, we'd come out of, of a recession and, you know, there was change in the business itself. It's a family business, so it was heading into its third generation with myself and my brother. And we felt that um, we just needed a bit of a shake up. We needed someone to kind of, you know, give us the tools to be able to um, drive our business forward um, to, to where we wanted to be, to be successful, um, to, to bring forward our staff, not only for ourselves in terms of leadership, but also for our staff. Um, our staff are, are really important. I think that's something that you that you saw um, that we really wanted to give them the tools, not just ourselves, to really push the business forward. Yeah. And I think it was really interesting, like you, your father um, obviously played on this pitch, uh, you know, Willie Duggan, your company is Willie Duggan Lighting, um, and that transition where you have a really strong, well-known personality leading a business, and then yourself and Willie Jr. coming in and, and following those footsteps. So how did that feel for you and, and Willie? Yeah, it felt for us like it was, it was big boots to fill, I suppose, if you don't mind the analogy, being at the Aviva. Um, so for us, we, we did we did need that guidance. We did need it, that kind of um, I suppose skill set. Um, and when we brought you guys in, um, you know, we did the diagnostics. Um, we worked with the team. We did the um, we did the, uh, the the workshops uh, with both our sales and, and our operations um, staff. And I think it just kind of helped us give us confidence. You know, my fa my father's such a big character and he built this really successful business, but it was for us to take it on and really try and push it forward. And we needed that kind of support, I suppose, um, and confidence to be able to uh, really push it forward. And I think bringing you guys in has given us the two set to be able to do that. Um, so it's really interesting to be back here two years later and to reflect on, on what we've achieved. So in terms of looking at the two years and the investment that you've made in your own self-development and the team development, what are the results that you've seen on a very practical level that other business people might be interested in? Um, well, first of all, like if, if I just take the sales results, um, since since we took you on board in, in you know, this kind of end of 2015, 2016, yeah, yeah. Um, business has increased by 35% of, you know, from 2015 to 2016, which for us is massive. Yeah, yeah. And it just proves that just in terms of figures only, it just proves how, how good it has been. But, you know, more than that, it has been way more than that. It has been, you know, staff engagement, um, confidence across the whole team, uh, everyone wants to see success um, and you know we've brought we've brought training into it like the training everyone loves it they you know they crave it actually they, they're asking for it more and more um, so you know it's just across the whole business we've seen a massive change um, even from from management's point of view from, from my point of view even from Willie seniors point of view um, we've all learned so much um, I think one of the big learns for me has been you win or you learn um, like nothing is a mistake and you you know you you learn from it and that's the most important thing and even for management to take that step back and go look what you're doing is is not bad you just you just need to learn um how to make it better um how to understand your staff uh, and then from that that feeds into your clients that feeds into your sales um, and ultimately that feeds into a successful business yeah yeah and i think it's that level of maturity and sometimes vulnerability, Monica, like a big thing that came across to me and was huge for me during the process of this. Um, you all really leaned into the process. You know, we see ourselves as partners, but there was constant conversations, there'd be ideas, but you always leaned into the process. You were always willing to try something new and try something different and go out of your comfort zone. And I think that approach of, of really leaning in to something different, uh, you know, and Greg talked about it earlier, that that's the absolute sense of a growth mindset. And I think yeah. that will continue to be your continued success so you know you're a platform now but this absolutely you're on you're on a great track for building the business to even uh, an even higher level than it already is today yeah well that's that's what we want and that's why we feel we have to continually learn always learn always push forward 
um, from from management down to, down to staff. Uh, you know, it actually should be from staff down to management, to be honest, because they are ultimately the people who drive our business forward. So I think we will always be learning, we'll always be growing, and we will always be engaging with Foresight uh, CD, I think. <laughs> that's great, that's great to hear. Yeah, yeah. And listen, thanks so much for your time today, and I hope you enjoy. It's great to have you back at the Masterclass. I'm really looking forward to it, uh, and I hope you really enjoy the rest of the Dublin Chamber uh, Momentum Summit Conference as well. Thanks yeah. a million. Thanks a million for having me. It better be a good Masterclass. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs>